Hi, my name is Heather McLeese, and I'm the Curator of Public Projects and Education here at the TOM. Today, I'm standing with a piece recently acquired into our gallery's collection entitled Hair Track in the Snow by the renowned artist George McLean. McLean is a distinguished artist from our region in Bognor, Ontario, where he established his farmhouse and studio in 1969. McLean has been painting wildlife professionally since the age of 18 and is known as one of the world's best, alongside the likes of Robert Bateman, Glenn Lautz, and Bob Kuhn. McLean is most well known for his striking depiction of animals in action, like the snowshoe hair tracks dancing across the snow. Growing up in Parkdale, Toronto, McLean attributes his great success in wildlife painting to his upbringing, family support, and hard work. He said he was luckier than most of the kids from his neighborhood as he was able to escape the city in the summertime to visit relatives in Own Sound. He has fond memories of his visits to Presque Isle Point where he fell in love with the local landscape and incredible animals found in our Grand Bruce region. He always knew that he would live here one day, doing what he loved most, being in the great outdoors and painting the animals in their natural habitat. Now let's take a closer look at this work, Hair Track in the Snow. This work highlights the large footprints characteristic of a snowshoe hare in the winter season. Snowshoe hares are known for their ability to move and hide in the snow-covered woodlands as they use their very large hind legs and white winter coats to avoid an array of predators. Often in McLean's work, he pictures the predator and prey situations that occur in Mother Nature. In this case, the viewer is left to wonder what happened to the hare? Was it fleeing for its life from one of its many predators, an owl, hawk, or coyote? The vantage point almost appears to be from a bird's eye perspective, looking down on its potential prey. The hare's tracks take our eyes on a journey deeper into the woods. How McLean determines this distinctive composition in his works is from using several source materials his lived experiences, photographs, books, and research compiling all of this information into one image to tell us a story. His painting technique, the egg tempura and casein on composition board is painted in carefully detailed layers, capturing the forest light almost better than a photograph could. It almost feels like a lived memory. The snow does not appear white at all in this painting. There's lots of blues, grays, purples, and oranges that emerge and that almost shimmer. Um, the shimmer's present similar to when light hit, sunlight hits the snow surface. His paintings really make us as the viewer slow down. They're painted so beautifully and raw, and it gets us as the viewer asking more questions, which is what great works of art should do.